We found that there was an association between air pollution and respiratory health that was exacerbated by noise. So if you live in a high noise area, we might see more detrimental health impacts. For smart cities, I see the opportunity to streamline how cities operate. If we can streamline the way that lighting works, uh, we can also streamline how we control noise. If we want to monitor noise or if we want to set controls on the amount of noise, I think that's very important. And we can also learn from these um, measurements that we may take or from the things that we can uh, examine how we can improve our cities and we can make them more livable. The lighting infra infrastructure that's in place through smart cities is actually very useful um, because the infrastructure is there in which we can also add additional sensors such as noise sensors or even other sensors like air pollution sensors or um, meteorological sensors. And when we can get a full picture of the urban environment, either through tra understanding how traffic is working, understanding how the urban environment is working, then we can use these data in our studies in order to really better understand the impacts of, of the urban environment on public health. In other studies, the monitoring locations are usually very sparsely located in an urban environment. By using the lighting infrastructure, we have a much denser spatial distribution of sensors in order to get a better picture of the urban environment and the pollution in that urban environment. Smart cities will help us understand how noise is growing, for instance, in a city like Los Angeles, where there's a lot of traffic and a lot of urbanization that's happening very quickly in the downtown core. Cities can use the data to better understand the levels of noise in their city. And as such, they could also impose certain restrictions on levels of noise from airports or from traffic, for instance, in order to improve the lives of the residents of the city.